Season 8 might be the best season we've seen so far because of everything that Epic has changed as well as everything they've kept the same. By this, I am referring to the snowy part of the map which I'm so happy they kept, at least for now. However, I'm sure everyone by now is aware of the major changes that we've seen upon the release of Season 8. If you haven't, then I recommend you download the massive 12GB update and take a look at the giant volcano that completely replaced Wailing Woods along with Tomato Temple. Epic Games really outdid themselves with this update, and there are a ton of details that you guys probably missed either because they're so hidden or the fact that they're rendered insignificant compared to the other added features, such as the pirate ship at Lazy Lagoon. Today's video will be going over the top 10 changes that you missed in the Season 8 update. Number 10. Our beloved planes have been taken away, and no one really knows if they'll ever be back. They had a good run, but let's face it, they were way too overpowered. By using these planes, people who are awful at the game have the ability to make it to the top 10 while doing little to nothing. The planes also allowed for these players to interrupt build battles and just crash through buildings like they're nothing. Personally, I'm kind of disappointed that they removed planes. I think they were nerfed enough to be kept in the game. They could be shot down easily and got destroyed really quickly when people tried to fly through buildings. I loved using them whenever I needed to complete multiple challenges for my battle pass in one game. Maybe we could see Epic Games adding them back near the end of Season 8 for this sole purpose. Number 9. Part of the Season 8 update was the addition of a feature known as Party Assist. By activating Party Assist on a specific challenge you are having a hard time completing, you can have the people in your party help do it with you. I know in Season 7 I had a hard time completing all of my challenges. However, I was still able to get the Prisoner skin and get to Tier 100. By using Party Assist in Season 8, you should be able to climb tiers faster as well as complete challenges faster rather than playing solos for hours until you get them done. Now, you and your friends can work to complete the same challenges together at the same time and save hours of each other's lives. Unless you like wasting time roaming the map trying to complete the season's challenges, you do you. I know I like to get them done as fast as possible, and so do my friends. Yes, I have friends. Don't, wor don't you worry about it. Number 8. The expansion of Der Burger in Retail Row Epic Games recently added a food truck that resembles the pizza place from Tomato Town, as well as a Der Burger truck similar to the restaurant from Greasy Grove. These trucks can be found at Retail Row, but when Season 8 came out, the Der Burger restaurant actually began to expand. What was once a simple food truck is starting to become a larger and larger business that is continuously expanding in each update. I don't know what Epic is planning to do with this one, but maybe it's hinting that once Der Burger becomes a successful restaurant, Retail Row will disappear just like Greasy Grove did. When Rifts were first released in Season 5, we saw the actual massive Der Burger get moved to a hill right outside of Pleasant Park. I really wonder what Epic is planning to do with a new improved Der Burger in Season 8. Maybe lava will start to flow into Retail Row slowly destroying it. We're all gonna have to wait and find out. Number 7. The New Pets Within the Battle Pass if you've bought the previous battle passes, then I'm sure you've noticed the trend of them having backpacks featuring little animals like a dog or even a hamster. Within the Season 8 update, they added two new animals. One is a wooden dog, and the other is a cute little fox. Both sit on your back and you probably haven't unlocked these yet unless you bought tiers. I love how these animals look, and I will definitely be using them once I unlock them. However, I think I like the Remus Ice Backpack. This, of course, was the completely frozen dog with white eyes. This backpack even has a little dream catcher that is hanging off of it, which really demonstrates the amount of detail that goes into these small additives. Number 6. The hot springs that were added in the new region of the map, just north of the volcano. You've probably seen this unnamed location if you've gone and explored the new region of the map at all. It is in between Lazy Lagoon and Sunny Steps. This location consists of runoff from the lagoon that is heated by the magma in the volcano, creating several separate hot springs. The water isn't deep here, and it sucks if you get stuck in the water without any mats, because you'll be moving incredibly slowly. There are exactly four separate springs here that you can quote-unquote swim in. Kinda. I really wish that Epic added the ability to swim, but I guess the idea was way too far-fetched. Maybe Season 9, I guess? <sighs> Was underwater combat really too much to ask for, Epic? Really? Everyone else has it. Number 5. The pirate trucks that can be found on the road. When Season 8 started and Lazy Lagoon was added, it gave Season 8 some kind of pirate theme. Throughout the map, we can see this in little details such as these pirate-themed trucks that can be seen on the road near Paradise Palms. One is a massive pickup truck with a big sail along with a wooden steering wheel on the top of the trailer. The other two are little RVs that have small pirate flags and one of them has an old wooden trailer on the back. I'm not exactly sure where these cars are heading, but it can't possibly be good. 
If we go back and watch the trailer for Season 8, then we can see that there are three different teams fighting over one chest in the middle. It could be a possibility that these cars are heading north towards where the pirate ship is docked to help the other pirates in their quest for treasure. They'll definitely need this help considering they're up against lava monsters that came out of a volcano. Number 4. The addition of animated birds that can be found above the new region in the top corner of the map. While this is pretty insignificant, it really shows the attention to detail that came with Season 8. This also shows the possibilities of Epic's animations in terms of things that naturally appear on the map. Yeah, that's it for number 4. I just like birds. Animated birds. They're cool. Number 3. The brand new peening system. I'm gonna start off by saying, real creative, Epic. You definitely didn't copy Apex with this one. You guys didn't even try to make it somewhat different, you just did the same thing and made it worse. <laughs> I like that you have the ability to mark enemies known, as well as ping locations and items, but it is literally the same thing from Apex. Epic Games really should have tried harder to make a system similar to the pinning system without completely copying Apex. However, this will now help a lot for players who play squads or duos with Philon. It will also help 10 times easier to communicate with other players while playing in modes such as 50v50. I remember when we couldn't even indicate to others when we needed band-aids or even ammo. It was so annoying to get what you wanted without inviting someone to a party if you are on console. I thought that this old system where we could show exactly what item we needed was enough, but I like being able to ping specific locations, weapons, and where there are enemies nearby. This really changes the pace of the game as well as your general awareness when you are playing with other players in a party. It's helpful, but it's definitely from Apex. Number 2. The possible addition of vans that will allow you to redeploy after being eliminated. I'm sure a lot of you will complain solely due to the fact that Epic Games is kind of stealing this from Apex Legends once again, just like the painting system, but honestly, this system would make the game so much better. As time has progressed, people who play Fortnite have become more and more toxic, and normally when you get knocked down, you'll get immediately eliminated after they make sure to dance on your body. I would love to see these vans in the game soon. As of right now, they can rarely be found on the map and they don't do anything yet. I think the biggest problem with this is that if you die and lose all of your loot, your friends will hesitate to give it back to you. Especially if you are in a squad or duo fill game. No one is going to give you anything and you're going to have such a hard time finding loot again after everything has already been looted in your general area. I know this will be my biggest annoyance with this system, because there is no point to running around the map with low health and no guns. That's just as good as spectating your friends because you won't be able to contribute at all. Number 1 the one and only legendary treasure chest. This insane chest was added as part of Season 8, and I doubt you've gotten the chance to open one. Not too many people know about it, and as of right now, it can only be found on the block, which was also relocated along with the update. This treasure chest is bound to give you a legendary weapon every single time it is opened, so no wonder people are eager to get it. It'll be hard for you to open when you drop into the game, considering so many people want to see it, especially since there is only one on the entire map. The chest looks 100 times better than a regular chest and could be the same design as the chests that are found through treasure maps. I think there should be one of these legendary chests hidden at every named location. Maybe Epic can make it so there is one chest that gets replaced by this legendary chest at every location. Or do you guys think that that would be way too overpowered? I think it could make squad games much more interesting. This will also make players want to land at locations far away from the battle bus to guarantee that they actually get this chest. Well, that's a wrap to our video on the top 10 changes you missed in Season 8 of Fortnite Battle Royale. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to subscribe for more related gaming content. Thanks guys, and I'll see you on the next one.